I have stated there is no point of um, reinventing the wheel. We must review laws, regulations, guidelines, and strategies to tackle the emerging chemical of environmental and health concerns, including antimicrobial resistance through a One Health approach. Lead poisoning exposure has detrimental effects, especially to the pregnant mothers, their unborn children. Remember, the, this hazard to the pregnant mothers can lead even to miscarriage, premature birth, stillbirth, low birth weight, and co-genital malformations. The estimates from the World Health Organization indicate that lead poisoning accounts to 0.6% of the global burden of disease and contributes to approximately 600,000 cases of intellectual disability in children annually. These are not just figures. They are figures that could be alarming in the future. We have a duty and an obligation as Kenyans and therefore as a ministry we will finalize and validate and disseminate the national policy on sound management of chemicals, lead poisoning, prevention, advocacy, legislation, compliance, and enforcement in partnership with all of you as our key stakeholders and multi-sectoral committee. Um, and equally, as the custodian of public health issues, we need to, we will develop the national strategy and action plan for the management of risks associated with exposure to lead poisoning and partnership with key players and everyone else. There's already a directive about replacing the asbestos, the asbestos sheets across the country. So what are we doing about this? How are we going to take care of the dis uh, um, while disposing this asbestos. It is important as a ministry, as a community, and as a consortium to be able to come up with solutions. You see, the minister has declared his, himself. The Ministry of Environment have already declared, but what are we doing about it? Because we must be part and parcel of the solution. It is not just about removing, but there's also that which can harm if they are poorly removed and disposed. According to the doctor, yes. she just said that she had, um, there were traces of lead poisoning in her blood. So some of the effects of lead could be miscarriage, just like your wife just had. How did lead traces get into Aisha's blood? Could you by any chance be working near an industry of some sort? Yeah, I work at a lead, uh, a battery acid industry. Yes, so if Aisha came into contact with your clothes or either through other methods, but mostly through your clothes when she's washing them, she could get the lead poison in which could cause the miscarriage. Ladies and gentlemen, we are committed to providing world-class paints. Our endeavor is to provide products that are not just best in performance, but also safe and minimize the impact on our environment. In continuation with the same objective, we, con con we converted the entire Duracoat and Duracoat uh, Royal water-based decorative products to low VOC way back in 2011. And we continue to ensure that we provide paints that are environmentally friendly and good for our customers. It is estimated that lead exposure costs the global economy $1.4 trillion annually. And I think 
This morning we were talking about that number could be an underestimate. It contributes to over a million deaths each year. Globally, an estimated one out of two children in developing countries has elevated levels of blood, elevated lead levels in their blood. And it affects, as Luigi mentioned, nearly 800 million children worldwide. Lead poisoning, especially in children, is devastating with irreversible effects. Lead exposure can lead to severe cognitive impairments, reduced IQ, and long-term health complications with no safe level of exposure for children. Yesterday, as I was busy minding my own business, I came across this very interesting tea. Hey, Chai! Hey! Guess what? Mm-hmm. Aisha's children were number last for exams. Like, Okochini, when call Amuisho. Number last. Yeah. Last, you say? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and let me tell you guys, this is not even the most interesting part. Guess what the husband had to say about it? Mm-hmm. These are not my genes. Because as you can see, my bloodline comes from a very intelligent people. And I am one of them. And Aisha was just there begging the husband to come down. Actually, oh, husband. Come. You know even the Bible says, mm-hmm. <laughs> those who humble themselves shall be exalted. Yeah. But those who exalt themselves hey, shall be humbled. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the kid belongs to the late one. Right? Hey, girl, hey, you wow, you look amazing. Hey, yeah. I see it's like Tom is taking good care of you. Tom is the best. There's no one like Tom. Doctor, what's the problem? Can you talk to me? What's happening, doctor? No, doctor, talk to me. Can someone explain to me what's happening to my Aisha? She has been bleeding. 